So let's talk about the final exam. The final exam has four parts. The first part is multiple choice. There's gonna be 34 questions and two bonus questions. All of them are worth one point each. The multiple choice questions will only cover material we have looked at since the midterm. But don't forget, some of the ideas we've talked about after the midterm are based on ideas from before the midterm. Right? Things like freedom of the press is also something we talked about when we talked about the Bill of Rights and to an extent civil liberties. So keep that in mind that even though it will be things we've definitely talked about after the midterm, it may draw on ideas from before the midterm as well. Now, the second part, that's 10 true false questions. Those are again worth one point each and there are two bonus questions. Those true false questions, anything we've covered this semester is fair game. So it's not just like pre-midterm concepts, but post-midterm questions. Now it's questions on anything we have covered. There's 10 fill in the blank questions. This is an awful lot like what you saw in the midterm, right? There'll be a word bank. You'll use words only once, but some words won't be used at all. There is a bonus question this time. Those are worth two points each. These will only test you on terminology we've looked at since the midterm, right? These will only be post midterm questions. Finally, you have your short answers. You'll answer six out of nine, so you have plenty of wiggle room to answer things you uh, are more familiar with. And there's gonna be three possible bonus points. So there will be three questions each with a bonus point that you can earn if you answer the question and of course then the bonus part of the question correctly. So overall, this whole exam, oh, I apologize, important part about these short answers. The short answer questions are going to be on anything we've covered throughout the semester, but there will be an emphasis on material you've done since the midterm. And because you only have to answer six out of nine, we're gonna have a lot of wiggle room to focus on post midterm material if that's what you'd like to do. But if you feel like the older stuff, you already took a test on, you know it pretty well, you can still show that off on a lot of these questions as well. So anyway, this overall test is out of 100 points and there will actually be with the extra credit, 109 points total that you can earn. So you could get 109 out of 100 if you answered everything correctly and chose to answer the questions that have those bonus points on the um, short answers. So there's a lot of room on this test to show me what you know. Now, what do you need to study for the test? Well, obviously the study guide, right? I, I made that to help show you what material is gonna be important, what material is gonna be on the, on the test. Um, there are um, sample questions on the study guide. There should be an answer key there as well. You may also want to look at the midterm study guide. Right? Even though the final focus is mostly on stuff that we've learned about since the midterm, there is some material from before the midterm. And again, these concepts that we've been learning in the last two units on politics and policy do draw on the institutions and foundations units. So the midterm study guide may be helpful for y'all. Plus the true false and the short answers do have some pre-midterm material. Now the review slides, these slides, and the review videos, the ones I'm making right now, uh, will be helpful to you. And you might also want to look at the ones from the midterm as well, the slides and the videos from there. The quizzes, they're, as you saw in the midterm, they're not going to be perfectly representative, but sometimes I do actually take a question from the quizzes and put them on the exam if I feel like it's a really important concept. Also, they do help you check your retention of your material. You can go back and retake the quizzes at any time. It will not mess up your grades. Now, uh, you also should look at the slides from past lectures and of course your notes from them, right? Your notes from class might help you. And I will generally focus during the lectures on things that I think are important, right? Things on these lectures and annotated slides, probably gonna show up on the exams. You should check out your CRUTS textbook. 
right? That's the online e-textbook that I've assigned for most classes this semester, you know, most uh, class dates this semester. And that textbook has some really helpful things like a glossary at the end of each section with definitions of your terms. And if they also have useful comp comprehension questions and the, I believe it's odd numbered questions do have an answer key. So that can help you. And of course the scanned readings, right? For both the Crutz textbook and the scanned readings, I assign these things for a reason. So I'm probably going to be asking you about information that they teach you. So that is the structure of the exam and how best and what materials you should be looking at to study for the exam. These next videos, I'll be going over the different topics that will come up on the exam.